Hey, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. John Wineland, and I want to welcome you to Restoration History, History 212, GHS 212. I'm um, looking forward to getting to know you this uh, semester. I think I had a couple of you maybe last semester. Uh, so this course, we're going to look at the history of the Restoration Movement. So you may not know what the Restoration Movement is, but perhaps by the end of this course you'll have a better idea. It's basically a, uh, a movement of the church in the frontier area of the United States. So it's a Protestant movement, and it begins uh, in the 19th century with the Second Great Awakening. But we're getting ahead of ourselves there. Many of you or maybe some of you, uh, have grown up in the Restoration Movement. If you've gone to a home church that's called a Christian church, or a Church of Christ, or even Disciples of Christ, this is all. these are all connected to the Restoration Movement. And of course, Central, uh, Central Christian College of the Bible is a part of the Restoration Movement as well. Hence this course, to make sure you have a basic background of what it is. So, I assume you're familiar with Canvas. So, uh, I've got the Canvas page up here, so we can look at it together. Uh, you can see, uh, I have basically, I think, everything posted already, and I have divided everything into eight units, as you can see. Eight units, that's what will be going on uh, for the rest of the semester. And including a unit zero. Unit zero. Uh, it has the syllabus, online participation ideas, course schedule, and a file here, the Lindenberg letter. So let's take a look at this. I think we'll start by looking at the syllabus. So let's go to the syllabus now on Canvas. See if we can get it to open. And the syllabus is going to uh, have everything we're going to be doing this semester, but really most of you are probably going to go to the Canvas thing and just follow it straight down through week by week, unit by unit. Each unit has two weeks. Each unit has two weeks. Now, I notice, I notice uh, on this uh, syllabus you see my name, John D. Weinman. Uh, how many credit hours? We're in room 222. This is a hybrid course, and I'm going to explain that in a minute. There's my phone number. That should only really be used for emergency situations. Normally, you should just contact me via email. And I'm usually pretty good about checking that, um, usually several times a day. Uh, however, if you send me an email at 2 in the morning, I may not get to it till the next, uh, you know, daytime. All right. So here's the course, Restoration History GHS 212 spring 2023. Now I'll let you read over the mission statement. All of this is is probably stuff you have seen before in other uh, syllabus or syllabi. So here we see the required textbooks. James, B, North, Union and Truth. That's our main text. Uh, Dr. North. Uh, I in fact uh, studied restoration history. The first time I studied it, I studied it with Dr. North. So um, I'm familiar with his textbook, I'm familiar with him, so I chose that as our textbook. Uh, notice too, we have uh, Sam Stone, Simply Christian, Sam Stone. Uh, Sam Stone I also had as a professor uh, many moons ago. Sam Stone, you may have heard of Dave Stone, I don't know, maybe not, but Dave Stone was at Southeast uh, Christian in Louisville, Kentucky for many years, and this is his father, Sam Stone. They are uh, distantly related to somebody named Barton W. Stone, and we're going to be get, get familiar with this uh, semester. Now take a look here. Uh, these are links, and this is something that I'm going to want you to uh, read the first week. So I want to make sure you see it right here on the syllabus. You click on this, and it's going to take you to um, a digital copy of Christian History magazine, and it's about the 100 most important events of church history. Because we're going to begin this course by doing a quick overview of church history. 
Because my assumption is, is that you haven't had much church history. So if we just launch in the restoration history, there's many things uh, that you may not know and may confuse you. So I think it's best to take a little time just to introduce you in general to uh, church history. All right, down here, of course, is our grading scale, uh, what points are worth, what, which things are worth which points. Pretty simple. Each unit, and that's every two weeks, has a unit reflection. Each unit has a forum. That's every two weeks. Uh, and then one time in the semester, I don't know when it is, probably in March. Uh, but at any rate, you'll see it there. The Declaration and Address. This is a document written by Thomas Campbell. And then there's going to be 15 uh, quizzes and 15 video assignments that you'll be uh, doing. And there will be questions associated with that. All that's going to be on Canvas. Okay, so Christian History Magazine, Stone Book, North Book, these are our textbooks. Declaration and Address, I have that for you to download as well. It was written by Thomas Campbell. It was paraphrased by Nofel Staten. Uh, Nofel Staten, a paraphrase, you know, would make it a little bit easier for you to understand since Thomas Campbell um, lived, you know, now a couple hundred years ago. So uh, even back then they had some phrases and things that were a little bit different, so that'll help. So each unit, every two weeks, uh, you can look down through this. You'll have a quiz every week. You'll have a forum every other week. And here is just a list of all the things uh, each unit and the estimated time it'll take you to do it. Here's the grading scale. It's a standard one for central. And uh, then this is the week by week, unit by unit schedule, right? Okay. Uh, here, are, here are basically uh, things telling you to be honest. Do not cheat. Do not copy other people's work. Um, do not plagiarize. Okay. And it has the punishments there listed if you do. Also, just about etiquette, that we should, uh, you know, be kind. That's basically, I'd say, first one would be don't cheat. Second one is be kind. Be kind to each other. Be kind to me. I'll try to be kind to you. Late work. Uh, late work, it, every, all the work is due by the due dates, uh, unless there's some extenuating circumstance. So you'd have to see me on that now. But you're going to upload a file, mostly here, uh, you'll be uploading Word files. No, I don't think we're going to be using any PowerPoint, but uh, Word files. And I would recommend that you, um, well, that you write your, uh, uh, you do your work on, on your laptop or on your computer and save it as a Word file, have it as a Word file in case something happens when you upload it to Canvas. You will have a copy of it on your computer. If I say, hey, I didn't get that, then you could just reload it. All right, does that make sense? You're going to turn everything in through Canvas. Everything will come in that way. You won't hand me any pieces of paper, and I won't hand you back any pieces of paper. So in that sense, we're paperless for this course, right? Even your syllabus is online. I don't give it to you in paper. All right, so that's it. Let's go then to the Home button. See if we can make our way to the Home button. My internet's a little sluggish today, so uh, forgive me. And we see uh, online uh, participation. You can read that yourself, course schedule we just did. Now, let's go down and take a look at, uh, just say, Unit 1. That, that's, a good, that's a good place to start. Like I said, we're going to take a look at uh, a, a sort of an overview of church history, starting from the earliest times and making our way up to the time of uh, the 20th century. So this look at church history, uh, I think will give you a, a background so you can really understand the Restoration Movement a little bit better. Now, uh, you can see week by week, so this is what you want to keep in mind. So January 17th to the 22nd, that's this week. Uh, you should read this, that's from Church History Magazine, 100 Most Important Events of, in Church History. You can look over a PDF of my uh, Restoration History Lecture and also my Five Patriarchal Cities Lecture that we should be doing in here on Thursday, and I'll mention that in a moment. And then for the first week, you'll have a video assignment. That video assignment, uh, let's, let's open it up and see if we can get it to open up. 
and uh, you can see what it is. It's just a um, it's just an assignment that is linked to a video, and it has questions down below. Okay, so what you'll do is watch the video. This one is a fairly short video, and then you will um, you will then answer these questions and upload them in Canvas. Does that make sense? Okay, good. All right, again, if you have any questions, send me an email. Now, so for the first week, read this article. Look at these uh, PowerPoints in PDF forms. Do your video assignment and take quiz number one. Quiz number one is a timed quiz. Okay, so uh, let me just say something about the quizzes. You can use your notes. You can use your textbook. I just don't want you to have somebody else give you the answers, but you can look up the answers. That's fine, because I see the quizzes as a way to review your reading and the way you're listening in class. There's five multiple choice questions. You may use your textbook, but no electronic helps. So in other words, don't sit there and try to Google all the answers. Now, to keep you moving on this, you're going to have 10 minutes to complete this quiz. Uh, one question will come up at a time, five questions. You give your answer, it'll go to the next question. Okay? And once you start it, be sure you're ready to finish it because you only get one chance at it. All right? So it's just, you know, I think you're going to find it's, it's not difficult. If you're paying attention, I think you'll do very well on these. And those are our quizzes. Okay? So quiz one the first week and uh, video assignment one the first week. Reading the 100 most important church events and looking over the lectures. That's everything for week one. Week two, by the way, I will be in Moberly. Uh, well, I'm scheduled to be in Moberly. I'm flying on Southwest, so I hope everything is fixed by then with Southwest, and I, I will get to St. Louis and over to Moberly, and then I will be in town for two weeks. Okay, two weeks. Uh, and, of course, that, that means for week two, uh, we're doing very much the same thing, a video assignment, a quiz, but we're adding a forum, and we're adding a unit reflection. By the way, the unit reflection is something um, that should relate to this class. For example, what's the most significant thing I learned this week? Maybe I should add on to that in restoration history. So, you know, if you learn that your girlfriend uh, likes popcorn, that you know, may be significant to you and to her, but uh, that's um, not related to this class. How does this week's learning touch on my past? That one's pretty clear. And what questions do I still have about this week's learning? Okay, so that's also about this class. So, you know, this is not the time to ask me, I don't know, some what's my favorite ice cream or something. This is the time for you to interact with the material in the course. Okay? Okay, good. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to do here? What else do I need to tell you? Okay, here's what else I need to tell you. Um, <clears throat> typically, since this is a hybrid class, we have all this stuff online for you to do, to read and things to do. Uh, normally, that is most of the time, uh, I will be in Florida, where I live, and you will be in Missouri, where you're living. And uh, we will meet on Zoom. We'll meet on Zoom twice a week. And that's going to be, you're going to be in the classroom, and I'm going to be at home, and uh, I'm going to be able to interact with you. Hopefully that's going to work very well. And you'll be able to hear me, I'll be able to hear you, I'll be able to see you, you'll be able to see me. You can ask me questions, I will go over the lecture, and we will run the class just like I was in the classroom, and uh, so that's the way we'll do it. And so we only do it two times a week, although class is scheduled to meet three times a week. Now, uh, normally we'll meet on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, which means we will not meet on Thursdays, okay? Uh, however, this first week's a little bit different. I have some, I have to go to the doctor, I have to do uh, a few things. Uh, they're not serious, but they're going to they're gonna take me out on Wednesday, definitely. 
And I'm hoping that on Tuesday, the very first day of class, I will be there with you uh, streaming in on Zoom as I would normally do. And what you'll do on here, you'll find uh, on the uh, canvas a link. And so someone's going to be coming to the room on Tuesday to help us try to do that. If for some reason uh, I can't be on Zoom, we'll definitely meet on Zoom on Thursday. So is that clear? This week's a little bit different. I'm sorry about that. But it's the first week. We've got to make a little adjustment. Instead of meeting Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to meet Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. Tuesday is, uh, you know, might be a problem for me and hopefully not for you. But that's why I'm making this video, to make sure you know what's going on in the course. You can watch this video and you can see basically what I was going to tell you on Tuesday anyway. And if we meet on Tuesday, I'll probably say a lot of the same things, or I might say go watch the video, and uh, it might make uh, class a little shorter on Tuesday. Does that make sense? Okay, because I wanted to make sure you could uh, see the, these things. I think that's it. I mean, there's always more. I could always talk, but uh, as you'll find out. But I think that's I think that's it. If you have questions, please send me an email um, to the to the uh, email address that's on the syllabus. <clears throat> okay. All right. I will uh, leave it at that. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you on Zoom on Thursday, and I'll see you in person next week.